The National Hurricane Center reported today Hurricane Ian briefly reached Category 5 status as it swirled toward Florida last September. This is video of our cheetah craft. You may recall flying through Ian with hurricane hunters in the Gulf. Right now, meteorologist Pat Kaplan joins us with more on this. Pat? Yeah, guys, so Cheetah Craft went up just after sunrise on September 28th. That was the day that Ian made landfall in southwest Florida. The reconnaissance flight, remember, they were flying planes into this thing up until the minute it made landfall. The reconnaissance flight that measured the Category 5 wind strength was the flight just before hers, and they reported that being a really rough flight. So this happened in a very small instance in time. It was just before landfall. It weakened back down to Category 4 status here as it came on shore in southwest was Florida, but a difference of five miles per hour is not going to make a big difference in the amount of damage. This was a huge storm for Southwest Florida. So here's the final report. Again, it was a category five, a four hurricane at landfall, briefly reached category five status just before making that landfall. And guys, this is the first time that we've seen a category five hurricane in the Gulf of Mexico since Hurricane Michael in 2018. So a long time that we've gone without seeing a storm of this strength in the Gulf. Uh, this was a, a really deadly hurricane as well, led to 156 deaths in the United States. Of course, the, the majority of those happened in Florida. 66 of those 156 deaths were directly correlated to the actual storm itself. The rest of them have to do with lack of health care, not being able to get to people in time of need, but still a staggering death toll you know, for 2022 in the United States. And it also ended up being the costliest hurricane ever in Florida history, the third costliest in the United States. Hopefully, guys, as we get into this upcoming hurricane season, things are a lot more quiet. But as someone that used to live in southwest Florida in the area that got hit by this, I can tell you, I know friends uh, that are there and, and firsthand, it has just been a very, very long road for them. They got a lot of uh, a lot of recovery to go still.